Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration. We 2014, problem 11. We have the integral of x, arctan of x, dx. Okay, now actually I already did this problem on my other channel using integration by parts for this. I'm still gonna do it by integration by parts, but I just wanted to go over a nice trick we have. This trick was mentioned in the comments of that other video, and I haven't done one like this in quite some time. So I thought I'd revisit this technique and go over how it works. Okay, so we have our integration by parts formula here on the board. And the thing I wanna point out is in our original problem, we have something that we're calling a derivative, like a V prime. And then in order to find V to go from here to here, we're actually taking an integral. But when you do that and you integrate V prime, well, technically you don't just get V, you actually get V plus C. So let's go back to our integration by parts formula and see what happens if we plug in V plus C and we use that instead of just V. So we have our formula, we plug in here, V plus C here, then we're gonna have minus integral of U prime, times v plus c. Then we'll just distribute this in here. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna end up with uv. Then we'll have plus, I'll write this like cu. And then we'll distribute again here and I can split this up into two integrals. I can write this as u prime v. And then for the second one, I can write this as minus integral of, we'll change the order, cu prime. But then for cu prime, like we could take the c outside of the integral and this is actually, and then we're just integrating u prime. So we end up with cu here. And then we'll just bring all this other stuff down. But then what happens here, we have Cu minus Cu, so we can just cancel those out. And what we get is we get back just the known integration by parts formula that we have right here. And so this is why typically we can just ignore, we just discard this plus C because it doesn't do anything, it's just gonna go away. But then there is a different way to look at this. We could discard this and not do it this way. But on the other hand, we could actually use to our advantage because we can set C to anything. And then we notice no matter what we set C to, it's gonna cancel out. So we actually have the option to use it and set our C value to any real value. So now back to our problem, we'll do integration by parts on this, and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna call this my u to differentiate this, and I'm gonna call this my v prime in order to integrate that. So we're gonna have u just equal to arctan of x. I'll take a derivative here, so our u prime value this is gonna give me one over x squared plus one. And then we'll come over here, so for my v prime value, we'll just have this is gonna be equal to x. We'll integrate this for our v, and then we're gonna get x squared over two but plus C, we're gonna keep that plus C for now. So now putting this together using our integration by parts formula over here, first our U value is just gonna be this piece right here. So that's fine. But then we're gonna be integrating all this down here. This is gonna be our U prime V, just this right here. And just notice we're gonna be multiplying this piece times this piece. So what I wanna do here is actually choose a C that's gonna make this work nice. What I can actually do to rewrite this, I can choose my C, if I choose C equal to one half, then by doing that, we have got a common denominator here, so I can write this all over two, and then the numerator, we just get x squared plus one. So putting this all together with our formula, we'll have our uv value, so we're gonna have just arctan of x. We'll use this v value, so this is gonna be times x squared plus one over two. And then we're gonna have minus this integral of this row right here, so this is gonna become one over x squared plus one. And then we're multiplying this times our v value. We'll write this in, x squared plus one all over two. But then doing that, our x squared plus ones are gonna cancel, and now we're just integrating one half. So for my final solution of this, we got arctan of x times x squared plus one all over two minus one half, integrating one dx just gives me x plus c, and that's it. One of the reasons I'm actually doing this video is for myself, just so I'll remember it, because I always forget to use this. Just notice that this actually did save us a step with this cancellation because otherwise we'd still have an integral here of x squared over x squared plus one. It's an easy integral, but it would still be an extra step to do it. So anyway, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.